Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. Today, what we're going over is how to get fish on your Windows terminal. Now, this is somewhat of a cheat because we're gonna use the Windows subsystem for Linux. The links for how to do that are in the description, so please check that out if you haven't already installed the Windows subsystem for Linux. And you're also going to need Windows Terminal, not command.exe. That's available from the Microsoft Store, which is a quick, just a little search ditty down here, search Microsoft Store. When that opens up, you search Windows Terminal. And the reason we need that is because command.exe does not properly support colors, fonts, it's a little bit tricky on copy and paste, lots of things are wrong with the default command terminal, so we want to use the new Windows terminal instead. Now, if at any point in this video you have that moment where it's like, aha, I got it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and please do me and you and all of your friends the favor of going to gist.github.com and starting a little note for yourself. Take, take some notes as we're going through this, copy things from the description if you need to, but even though it's duplicate information, it is so great to have your own notes to refer to and you will not regret it. So go ahead and do that. We will get started here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is to go to webinstall.dev slash fish. I'm assuming you know what fish is, which is why you're here. It's just a better shell. It's, it's not bash compatible, but it's close enough for day-to-day -day tasks and it's so much faster and smoother to use for day-to-day -day tasks. So what we're gonna do is, I, I've got a cheat sheet here. So I, I encourage you to check this out. This shows you how to use fish in a lot of the common options, things that you need to do are all listed here. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention first. This is the cheat sheet that I made just for this. And we are going to open up Windows Terminal. In fact, I've already got Windows Terminal open. I've already got Ubuntu here. The commands that you need are in the description. First off, we need to make sure that the package registry is updated. So you're gonna do sudo apt update dash y. If you've already done this before, you probably don't need to do that, but it must be done. Oh, what did I set my password to? I think it was password. Ah, yes, thank goodness. Password in WSL doesn't do anything anyway, so I don't put it. Oh, 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 sorry. Ha. Um, I, I need to share my screen with you there. Now, if, if at any point it feels like it's just kind of stuck, that could be a well-known Windows terminal bug that has existed even in command.exe for eons and eons. Just hit the enter key if it seems like it's ever frozen. And if it continues to go, then that was the problem. Otherwise, it's just doing something. Unfortunately, you can't tell until something happens. In this case, it's still thinking. All right, so now the next step is we need to run sudo apt install dash y fish. Now to break that down, apt is the package management system that's default on Linux. Sudo means run as administrator. It's like when that, that window pops up that says, are you sure you wanna do this as the administrator? That's what it is, but for the command line, and then obviously install and then fish. Dash Y means assume yes, don't ask me questions and have me type more at you. Just for those of you that are unfamiliar, which I imagine most of you watching this probably uh, have been around the block a little if, if you to the point where you know what fish is. But for those of you that are in Beyond Code Bootcamp, maybe you didn't know that. Go get a T, twiddle your thumbs, eat a sandwich, Okay, we're ready. Almost, I gotta swallow first. Okay, so now the next thing that I need to do is make the fish config directory. It might actually already be there, let's see. Again, just copy and paste this command. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's making a directory, but we'll cover that later. And then we also need to create, whoops, just an empty file for our fish config. So that'll do that. And then we need to change our default shell to fish. 
So we could just type fish and we'd be using fish once, but what we want to do is use fish every time. So we need to use the change shell command, tell it which shell we want to use, which would be command dash V fish will find it for us no matter where it is. And then for which user, and no matter what your username is set up, who am I will be the right choice. So now the shell is set correctly. Just one second here, we'll make a correction to a typo in my notes. And what we need to do is actually exit out of this and start a new terminal. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, now, if we're lucky, we should be in fish. Oh, I don't have, don't have my other tools installed yet. Are we in fish? Okay, I guess we were in fish. Just wasn't what I was expecting. Let's do echo oops, shell. Okay, yep, we're in fish, cool. So now it's installed, but we're not done yet because what we wanna do is pick a nice color scheme for ourselves. So we run the command fish underscore config and that is going to actually cause the, the Linux terminal to communicate with Windows in such a way that it wants firewall access. So we're gonna say yes we want to allow, and I'm actually going to say we want this to be allowed on private networks and public networks and whatever. So we're going to allow access. This gets us to the web page for the fish configuration. And my favorite theme right now, well, there's a couple of them, but the one that is available immediately in fish, let me actually make my screen a little smaller here so that everything will fit is tomorrow night. I'm really digging that one lately. And there might be a couple of others in here that are pretty cool. Oh, Dracula. Dracula is a really great one too. I recommend either tomorrow night or Dracula. We're going to go with tomorrow night right now. And then I'm going to click the set theme button. And we can see over there, it's getting really busy running a bunch of commands to set colors and stuff. And then I'm first going to do control C over here to end so that it, it, so that it shuts down cleanly. Cause sometimes if you close out the web page first, then it gets a little meh with you. Okay. So now, now we need some commands that have some colors and some fonts and icons and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is I, uh, we need to reinstall Webby because Webby installs per shell. It, it will install for Fish and for ZSH and for Bash. So we're just going to run our Webby installer here. And it's nice Fish imported from our Bash history. So I've got that. All right, that goes ahead and runs. I'm going to copy and paste this here. So now that we have Webby, Webby we can install all of the other fun commands we like to use like LSD and RG and SD and FD and FCF and BAT. And there's a couple of other fun ones that I put in the description. You're probably going to want to have Node. You probably want the Vim Essentials. You probably want SSH pub keys so that you can log into the server later. Don't need to understand any of that right now if you don't, but it's all there. Okay, now that that's all installed, I'll go ahead and just run LSD. Look! We get nice colors in our theme. So if that was helpful for you, again, go ahead and give it a like. Go in the links, subscribe to the live channel if you want that when they go live. If you just want the edited stuff, that's in the description is the Beyond Code Bootcamp playlist. So you can subscribe to that channel in that playlist. Make sure you check out the bit on Nerd Font and on WSL, Windows Terminal, all that stuff. You have the best day ever. Adios. And of course, because I've got the virtual machine open, it's not capturing my key to end the stream because virtual machine takes priority over OBS.